let's let's check real quick. Let's check what we need. Homemade shotgun. Oh, that's not. It's the. Is this one? Okay, so we need a barrel, tape, and metal. Oh, and gun parts, which we have. Okay. So I think we're gonna build this. Yeah, we're, we're gonna build this. Yeah, yeah, let's build this. But it, so it's just one shot, but it, it shouldn't break after one shot, though. Right? Hopefully. We also can build this sickle. I think we're going to build that next. Hmm. All of the decisions. All of the decisions. I like it, but... Whew. Let's build this single shot shotgun. Can't be too bad, right? <clears throat> it's a shotgun. Let's get this long barrel. Except then oh, that's 450 as well, so we, we can't grab that. Gas tank. That looks insane. Uh let's get some more pills as well. And oh he'll take chicken chicken eggs. Yeah, let's just give them all the chicken eggs. That's great. So this will allow us to keep a lot of... And we'll get a shotgun shell. And all of his scrap metal. Yes, let's do that. This seems good. Okay, now we can build all of the things. Okay, we're gonna build a single shot shotgun. We did it, we're amazing. We're gonna put this board, these boards up and these nails up. We're gonna put our three remaining scrap metal there. Um, take our shotgun shells. So does this literally only shoot one? I'm confused as, how to, as to how this works. The problem is we can't test it. But it didn't seem to require shotgun shells, which is weird. So yeah, it may just be like a one-shot, and it'll kill anything. It's just dead. Useless after firing a shot. Or maybe it, we can shoot, shoot it once, and then easily repair it with just a shotgun shell, but we have to come back all the way back here to do it. Who knows? Who knows? Okay. <clears throat> we have all these magazines we found as well that we cannot use. We're gonna hold our shotgun shells on us, even though they seem useless. Where did our pills go? There they are. Switch those out. You know, we never use this antidote, so we're gonna leave that here so we can gather more stuff. We would build this, but it needs three scrap metal. It needs two scrap metal, and we need to make bear traps tonight. Okay, let's go scrap metal searching today, as well as, um, ooh. The real question is, did they trigger this trap out here? And I don't know if we can tell without, yeah, we can't. <clears throat> so we're gonna try and walk around this trap. Unbarricade you. Oh, can we do it? Hopefully. Yes! Alright, nice. Okay. That's good. That's very good. Alright. So, first things first, let's go ahead and turn off the... Oh, they did use it. Okay. 
I'm gonna turn off the generator so we don't drain all our gas again. Looks like we have about one night left in there. Um, let's go ahead and buy some more. Buy some more gas from this guy. Go ahead and dump the rest of this uh, into the generator right now. Unfortunately, we do have an extra welding torch that we're probably never going to use because we've already we already got one before that before Patriarch or Patriarch gave us his. Double check, make sure it's... Yeah, it's off. Alright. There might be more potatoes growing in here, actually, as well. No. Okay. Actually, can we grab this table? We cannot. But we can grab this sofa. Oh, while time is frozen, we're gonna drag this sofa. Um, all the way to the door, and we can use it to block the door tonight. It might take a while, but time is frozen. So that's okay. Look at this guy, he's getting really impatient. Oh, it makes a different sound when we drag it across the grass outside. It's kind of a neat touch. It's kind of an annoying grating sound. It's a neat touch. So from my experience, time will not unfreeze until we actually leave the perimeter of our establishment. Body bag? No, it's a sofa. We're gonna use it to, like, like we're using this right here to block this other door. Tonight, after we go meet the wolf and everything. It's 8 a.m. currently. Almost there! If this were like in game time, if time wasn't frozen, this would have just taken like five hours to do. Okay, now let's equip our pills. We make, we just built a single shot shotgun, which I, we don't really know what that means, but it means something. So we're gonna, on the way there, we're gonna stop by and see if uh, Piatrek has finished building his rocket ship. We're gonna ignore the silo because we don't want to give the key to the kid unless we have to. And we're gonna search desperately for metal. Scrap metal. Uh, I kinda wanna give him the key. So hopefully the wolf doesn't want it, but I I'm pretty sure he will want it. Ah, uh, the, the, 
Traps are so hard to spot here. Because they bury them under grass in the silent forest. So this is like the area where they make make new uh, savages. So we killed one here yesterday. And it makes a noise like see they're burying the guy here and we're pretty we're pretty certain that that's how they're making them. Oh gosh. I didn't even see that guy there. Fallen tree, examine. The bark looks particularly chewed up, and I think they're taking the bark from these trees and somehow making savages out of them. But we're not sure. The body of a, some savage lies in this hole. See, this is a closed one. Either that, or they're burying their dead. Which is also a possibility, because it does seem like they're getting more and more advanced. So this should be Piatress. Let's go, let's go say hello. Uh, what? The ground is scorched here like someone actually took off with a rocket ship. Oh my god, no way, okay. Let's go see if Piatrex in here. Weird. So he's actually gone. You know, if we wanted to, we could use this as a safe house. And it actually probably would be a much better safe house. We might do that. We might get the guy to move all our stuff over here. Now that Piatrex has gone. Dude, what the hell? Yeah, did you see that? Where the... the like, his, his rocket ship is gone and the earth, the earth is scorched like he actually took off. Alright, hey Wolfman. A key covered in chicken feces. As I produce the key, the wolf's pupils widen with excitement. Well, neat. I didn't, I didn't think you could succeed. I'm impressed. Time for your reward. You'll find this quack thief here. Okay, so this is where we're going to find the doctor. But he locked himself away from the world, and he won't let anyone in. So I don't know if this information will be of any use to you, meaty. What the F are you looking at? I promised that I'd tell you where to find him, and I did. Did I tell you you'll be able to get in there? That's something else, isn't it? Hee hee hee. The wolf bursts out laughing. Now get out of my sight, meat. I have important business to attend to. If you're interested in continuing our wonderful relationship, look for me in the northern edge of the old woods. I predict a tasty future together. The wolf sinks his hands into his deep pockets of his coat. Here, deliver this to the insane old bee as a way of thanking her for her beautiful sister. Oh, it's her sister. Interesting. So th that's the, uh... And a nice chicken head. Great. So yeah, we did. We chose the wolf path. So there are definitely multiple ways to do this game. The wolf throws the head of a chicken under my feet. As I lift my gaze, I realize that the wolf is gone. Okay. Cool. What's interesting is we never found the password to these. Why you no swear? It's part of the game. I don't know, I just prefer not to. I do swear sometimes. Just because they wrote it in, though, doesn't mean I have to say it. It's annoying that... 
Like, I never know if we should be able to open these or not. But we've never found a passcode to it, so I, I don't really know. I don't really know. My immersion! <laughs> I'm so sorry you're not immersed. Grab some more nails. We can always use more nails. Alright, so let's look at check our map out. Where he's he said he wrote on our map where the guy is. Wait a second. So here's our, here's our two hideouts. Maybe he actually locked himself in here, and that's... So I guess we just have to go to this next area. Either that or he's in the burnt house. Hmm. I just don't know. Okay. Currently at Piatrex. Yeah, I think we're gonna move our area. I think we're gonna move our hideout to Piatrex place. For now. We can call the guy and he'll move all our stuff. But like, this is such a nice hideout. The windows are, two windows are already barricaded. The doorway, right, there's only one entrance beside the windows. We can also barricade this with this door if we'd like. And then they have, they try and come in here and then try and come in here. I think that's what we're gonna do. Oh my god. He really did take off. I wonder why he didn't take us with him. Is there an underground map? There is not an underground map. Once you go to these off areas, like underground or to the village, you just, uh, there's just no map. You There's no map of those areas. So you just have to know it by, like, Explo exploration. Which I think is intentional. Yeah, so I think the savages... They eat tree bark, but like they eat dead dead trees. Which is interesting. I think maybe that's like if we weren't killing them, they would eventually eat out of the forest maybe. It looks like this is like the inner sanctum of a forest area. So maybe us living in here is actually preventing people from escaping. The fact that we're killing savages Alcohol, we'll take the cloth. It's kind of a neat thought. Oh my god, that hurts so much. Good thing we bought those pills. That was almost awful. I almost just died there. That dude was insane. He was going maniac mode on us. That was awful. 
So actually, we need to dump this pistol because we cannot repair it and it doesn't shoot. We just learned. So that's... That's nice to know now, I guess. Okay, so we need to go down through here. Here is a scrap, a little bit of scrap metal, and some meat. Oh, a rabbit ran into that trap. Don't I have a gun? Yeah, we tried to use our gun, it's right here, but it's broken completely, so it actually won't shoot anymore. We thought that it would just disintegrate and break whenever um, it was completely broken, but like, look, watch, now it just doesn't shoot. We can charge it all the way, and you don't get a shot. Now I know, unfortunately. So we tried to shoot it, but it's it's broken. So we're gonna either try and scrap it somehow or just get rid of it. Oh! No! We ran to our own trap. That's super unlucky and unfortunate. I look over at chat and walk through the door, and then just boom. All right, let's go drink from the well real quick so we can heal up. Damn, that was one of our few traps we had left. Yeah, yeah, that's awkward. Okay, so we get the bell and we bring it. Go ahead and cook. Go ahead and store with our metals. That means we can make two now. Let's get, let's see, repair item. That item can't be repaired. Okay, that's kind of dumb. Wait, can we upgrade item? Oh, we can upgrade it with more. Oh, I think we might be able to upgrade the, we might be able to up, make it even lighter so it's easier to swing now though. Okay, uh, can we repair our armor? Oh, we actually broke our armor, so let's let's make some more. Uh, let's put this up. Actually, let's put that near our weapons. I don't know why we're even able to hold on to it, but... We are, and <laughs> yeah, I think we'll stay one more night here and then go over to the next place. Let's go ahead and make two bear traps. There we go. Leave that there. Gonna put one of these guys right here. We Wooden door barricaded dismantle. No, we don't we don't want to barricade it right now. Alright. That put you there.
grab some wood. Don't want to turn the generator on yet. So since they can't push these out of the way, when they do end up coming through, they probably won't choose this door. Hopefully. I think we're going to put our second trap on the inside of this window. And hope we don't ourselves step on it. Since they actually did break into the window last night for the first time. It's currently 5 o'clock, so we have a decent amount of time left. Let's do a short survey of the surrounding area. And uh, try and find a little more, a couple more pieces of scrap metal. Nope. Nope. Where is that dog? I didn't even see it. Huh. We definitely don't want to deal with the giant dogs right now. They've killed us more than pretty much anything else. Currently six o'clock, which means it's gonna get dark in about one hour, maybe two. We need to watch for when it actually gets fully dark. Let's go ahead and turn the generator on though and start setting up. Could re we really could rebuild the death, so that's kind of interesting. Oh, so we don't we don't have uh Go and barricade this. Okay, we need to grab more nails real quick. And not step on this trap. Also probably want to repair this soon, but Maybe not quite yet. Alright, so we should be good. This is our only real risk right here that we're kind of taking tonight, since we don't have enough to open or keep this. We don't have any enough traps to put one right here. If they do end up destroying the sofa, then destroying the bed, I mean, the, not the bed, the door, or the barricade, and then the door, then we'll have to be quite prepared. Let's grab, okay, it's, it's, uh... Seven o'clock, and it looks like it's just getting dark. But this is our secondary. And then, yeah, that should be it. Tomorrow we're gonna carry this bike bell with us. Um, and we're gonna go up into the old woods. It said he's along the northern part of it. All 
All right, so it just got fully dark. The music just started playing, and it is uh, eight o'clock. So that's that's the time frame we're gonna have to remember for now on. Let's make another another Molotov cocktail. I hear them outside. Alright, so they just- they just tried to move... They just tried to move the sofa. I heard them. So I don't think they'll be able to move it enough because it got jammed against this corner and they cannot drag, I don't think. And so they are gonna have two options. They can either beat it and destroy the sofa or they can go to a different area. And they'll most likely choose to go to a different area. Not really certain how their AI works, but. I think one just got caught in a trap right here. Oh no, that's not good. Desk, come back. Oh no, okay. Okay, we rebarricaded this. Uh, now we're gonna. Put the table back in front of you. There's this weird force that I'm pretty sure the developers designed specifically so that you can't do what I'm doing all the time, like putting furniture in front of everything that blows all large objects like furniture in a specific specific direction are we we may we may not have to waste any planks here Because if we wait one more hour... It'll be almost morning. That was a smart decision to put the... Oh, nope. Alright, here they come. I think whatever is destroying this is actually a dog, not a savage, maybe? Not sure. Alright, we have 20 minutes. Or like... Like 30 seconds. If we can run for him for that long... Okay. Perfect. So we probably would not have wasted our Molotov cocktail there, because if you can evade them for long enough, they won't... Uh, they they just disappear. They won't actually be able to attack you. 